Hello and what is up guys, Jack here from Ezekiel Gaming HD and this is part 2 of this non-rare gem series. So this video is going to be the wingers edition, meaning I will only be choosing players in the left mid, right mid, left wing and right wing positions. And I'm pretty sure they don't have left forward and right forward in FIFA 14 anymore. Um, just a little bit of information for you if any of you thought that it would be. Uh, the first part of this series was the striker edition, so if you missed that, please go and check it out. I will put the playlist link somewhere on the screen and possibly in the description. Also, I want to say a huge thanks for uh, 250 likes on that video yesterday, and uh, if you can do the same on this video, that would be absolutely fantastic. Uh, also, I noticed in yesterday's video, a few of you said, how do you know if these players will be gems in FIFA 14? And the real truth is, I don't. I haven't actually played the game, but I have spent you know the last three years looking at in-game stats and being able to judge whether a player will be or won't be good and I've got a ton of yeah I've just got a ton of experience doing it basically but also another point to make is even if I have used all these players on the ultimate team and I think they're all gems there's absolutely no way that all of you guys will say every one of these players I'm using will be gems or pointing out um, the term gems just means that the player is better than the card suggests or portrays and also their price is cheap and the reason I know their price will be cheap is because they are non-rare cards. Um, before I get into this video though, I just want to say a quick shout out to the Foot Shop for sponsoring this video. Uh, they are a cheap and reliable source to get your Ultimate Team Coins from. Don't forget, you can also sell your Ultimate Team Coins to them as well. You can also use the discount code Zeki, Z -E -K -E, to get further uh, money off any purchases and all other relative links will be in the description. Anyway, getting into this actual video, trying not to have the intro too long, it's already been in a minute and a half already, but I want to get into this first player, and the first player is Mubarak Wakaso. Um, this guy is a left mid, plays in the Russian league for Rubin Kazan, and have a look at his physical stats. Um, possibly the best non-rare physical stats you'll ever see. Um, just like, everything, everything is good, or well, actually better than good, excellent, you know, 89 acceleration, 87 sprint speed. 81 strength that in itself if he just had that would still be amazing but he's got the agility he's got the balance he's got the jumping obviously his stamina is not going to matter too much uh, but he's also got the aggression and that's good because he's got high attacking and high defensive work rates which means he's going to actually play well as a left mid um, although I'm pretty sure he'd be good as a, a left wing as well because of those work rates uh, he's only got two star weak foot and two star skills so that is a letdown but he does have the long shot taker trait and dives into tackles traits Moving into the second player we have, we have Jovinho, um, former Arsenal player, and I am an Arsenal supporter, so I know that he's, he's decent on the game, but just not he's not so uh, great in real life. I think he's just he wasn't on the same wavelength as uh, the rest of the Arsenal players when he was on the pitch, but I'm not going to talk about that. Um, he's got some really good stats. He's got four-star skills and three-star weak foot. He's got the speed dribbler trait. He's uh, very fast and pretty good, uh, pretty agile as well. Sorry. Uh, he plays for Roma this time in the Serie A league, so hopefully I'm giving you guys different uh, players from different leagues um, um, so you can just create different teams, basically. So yeah, moving into the third player of this um, of this little episode, we have Ola John, and he's got 88 pace, as you can see on his card, which in-game is mainly sprint speed instead of acceleration, which is good. He's not as strong, but he does have 4-star skill, 4-star weak foot, the early crosser trait, not that that's going to make a huge difference, and also the speed dri dribbler trait, sorry. Um, high, uh, not high, um, medium and medium on the work rates. Uh, he's 5 for 10 and um, there's not really much else to say about him really. I've used him um, in FIFA 13 and he's pretty good. His stats haven't changed drastically. I can't remember if he was a rare player or not. I'm pretty sure though that he was a rare player. So the fact that he's now a non-rare player will mean his price is very, very cheap. And uh, he's a left mid though, he's not a left wing. So he, might, he may cost you a little bit of money uh, to buy a position card to move him. But he may be worth it as well because he's a good player, as you can see on his stats. Getting into the fourth player, we have Kevin Marias from Everton. And uh, he's now a right mid, and he's got 90 acceleration, 87 sprint speed. So kind of the wrong way around from what I'd prefer it to be, but uh, it's not too bad anyway. You know, 87 sprint speed's good. Um, Four-star skills, four-star weak foot. He's got the injury-prone trait, although I'm not sure if injuries are going to be on FIFA 14 yet. If it is, then that will suck up a little bit because he's going to be obviously getting injured a lot more. Um, he tries to beat the offside trap and he's also got the flair and loyal trait even though he's just arrived at Everton well the last year or two I can't remember um, yeah but he does have uh, some pretty good other stats as well like dribbling is 87 um, his shooting is pretty decent he's got good finishing um, pretty average long shots and shot power to be honest but his finishing is good and uh, that's pretty much it for him okay the next player we have is the fifth player and his name is Andre Carrillo another player from the Portuguese league 
although he is a different nationality, he's Peruvian, I think that's how you'd say, uh, he's from Peru, he plays for Peru, um, he's got 4 star skills, 3 star weak foot, medium attacking work rate, and low defensive work rate, he's not too keen on the work rates to be honest, anything with low isn't isn't great, um, the only time I like a low, def uh, a low work rate is if um, I have a CDM, I like him to have a high, on his attacking work rate I like him to have low, and his defensive work rate I like to have high, but this isn't uh, a CDM so, those stats are not great in terms of work rates. Um, acceleration sprint speed wise, as you can see there, with the 4 star skills will be pretty lethal. Um, it's just a shame he's not left footed, because he's right footed as you can see there. Um, dribbling's good, and as, apart from that, that's pretty much it. Most All these players have quite similar stats or something in common. So yeah, moving into the last player of this little episode, we have Zoran Tosic. And he plays in the Russian uh, league, uh, so that's two players from the Russian league, two players from uh, the Portuguese league now, but they're all different nationalities. Um, he used to play at Manchester United actually, and uh, he's got four star skills. I used to use him quite a lot on uh, FIFA 11 actually, him and Gonzalez on the left wing. Um, he has a long shot taker trait, which is actually quite good. If you have a look at his long shot stats, they're not great, but the fact that he's got the trait uh, should mean that he's, he's good at it. He gets that dip, hopefully. He's left footed and he's playing on the right side this time. Usually, he, uh, on FIFA 11 anyway, I remembered him playing on the left wing. It kind of sucked because um, he couldn't cut in and you know finesse it round. Uh, but he does have high acceleration, high sprint speed, good dribbling stats, good agility and balance. So all you need for if you're going to pull off some skills and uh, just try and get past players. This year's going to this uh, year's ultimate team is going to rely a lot more on your dribbling stats and uh, your strength. Although this guy is not that strong, is he? 48 strength. Um, let's hope that he's good at dribbling. Anyway, that is the end of this video. I um, hope you enjoyed it. Again, I, as I said at the start of the video, if we can hit 250 likes, that would be absolutely amazing. And until next time, guys, make sure you subscribe if you want to see more of this content. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye. He's got 77 pace, as you can see there. So he's not as fast as the players we've got so far. He's got 78 acceleration, 76 sprint speed. But he's also got 86 strength and 85 aggression. So he does make up for it with his uh, strength stats there. He's got 80 shot power, decent finishing, and he plays in. Uh, he's a Brazilian player, and he plays in the Liga do Brazil. So chemistry is going to be very easy for him to get. He's got four star skills and three star weak foot. So skilling is a uh, is still possible. He's only five foot eight, so it's not going to feel huge or anything uh, like most. Of